Hello students, this is Samyukta Singh T. In this session, I am going to discuss Touchstone Method from Matthew Arnold's essay, A Study of Poetry. What is a touchstone? Touchstone is a hard stone used to determine whether the metal is pure gold. The touchstone was used during the ancient times, during the Harappan period of the Indus Valley Civilization for testing the purity of soft metals. It was also used in ancient Greece. The word was introduced into literary criticism by Matthew Arnold in A Study of Poetry. Uh, he used this word touchstone to judge or evaluate the quality of work. According to this method, in order to judge a poet's work properly, a critic should compare it to the passages taken from the works of great masters of poetry like Homer and Dante. According to Arnold, if the other work moves us or influence us in the same way as the works of Homer or Dante, then only we can consider that work as a classic. Otherwise, it cannot be considered as a classic. Arnold uh, gives few qualities of a good poetry. According to Arnold, a good poetry should be of highest poetical quality. Uh, it should has characters of high quality uh, or the powerful or, uh, uh, or the influential characters and a good poetry or a good piece of work should also uh, possess high truth and high seriousness. By keeping all these qualities in center, Arnold applies Touchstone's method on Geoffrey Chaucer first, who has been called the father of English poetry. According to Arnold, Chaucer's poetry is a source of joy and strength. He is fantastic according to Arnold. Uh, he says, that there is an abundance of God in Chaucer's poetry. It is like a fountain of good sense. He calls him an epoch maker and founder of a tradition because Chaucer has made the decision to write in English, not in the French. The, the French was uh, then uh, spoken by those in power. Still, he uh, chooses to write in English. He, and here Arnold appreciates it, yet Arnold does not list him among the great classics because his poetry lacks high seriousness, which according to Aristotle is very important. According to Arnold, Chaucer's poetry is the criticism of life. It has a largeness, freedom, uh, shrewdness, benignity kindness or tolerance towards other but it still lack high seriousness which in turn leads to catharsis or purification of emotions. According to Arnold, Chaucer cannot be called a classic because his poetry lacks high seriousness. After Chaucer, Arnold applies the touchstone method on Elizabethan age on the most celebrated writer of the Elizabethan period, William Shakespeare. Arnold calls Shakespeare the king of thought as well as of poetic rhythm and style. Arnold fully agrees with uh, Henry Cohen's view that Shakespeare has produced the most harmonious verse which has ever sounded upon the human ear since the verse of Greeks. To prove this, Arnold extracts a dialogue from the play Hamlet. Uh, it is Hamlet's dying request to Horatio, where Hamlet wants Horatio to tell his life story to the world. He compares this quote from Shakespeare's Hamlet to uh, the quote of Dante and he appreciates Shakespeare 
and he find out and he finds out that uh, shakespeare uh, possess all the qualities uh, which are essential for a good uh, piece of work and and he uh, have all the qualities of high truth and high uh, seriousness so according to arnold shakespeare can be considered as a classic then he applies the touchstone method on john milton from puritan age according to arnold milton is also a classic he says as far as milton is concerned there is no need for any plea to assert that in the sure and flawless perfection of his rhythm and diction he is as admirable as virgil or dante according to matthew arnold milton's works are equally good like the works of virgil or dante so he consider both shakespeare and milton as classic poets arnold then takes up a controversial question whether to consider dryden and pope as classic poets or not because dr johnson puts them uh, at a very high level in the hierarchy of poetic classics and wordsworth and coleridge deny them deny them this honor arnold calls dryden and pope are uh, the splendid high priest of our age of prose and reason uh, but their poetry lacks high seriousness thus arnold declares that they are uh, not the classics of our poetry but they are the classics of our prose he justifies this by uh, saying that both dryden and pope belong to the age of reason and it was the age of rules and regulations and restrictions were laid on the poets so uh, according to arnold dryden and pope are classics but they are not the classics of poetry they are the classics of prose and then he applies the touchstone method on gray arnold says he was deeply and widely read in greek in poetry but his poetic output is very scant arnold says that a uh, thomas gray was deeply and widely read in greek in poetry intellectually and emotionally he was constantly living in the life of the uh, li- living his life in company with uh, other greek people capturing much of their poetic sensibility and style but his poetic output output is very scant the scantiest and the a uh, fry list of classics in our poetry he would have been among the greatest poetic classics in english if he had written little more according to arnold but still uh, he consider him as a classic though he has written very little uh, because uh, though his contribution to the literature was very little that little a uh, poetry which he has written possess all the very good qualities which are essential for a good poetry and he, uh, thus he consider gray as a classic poet uh, his uh, thomas gray's uh, is widely known for his poem elegy written in a country churchyard published in 1751 and the fatal sisters then finally arnold finds burns argument to be a literary classic arnold finds most of burns poetry deals with scottish life his poem deals with scottish dress scottish manner and scottish religion the scottish world is not so beautiful one according to arnold uh, here what arnold is trying to convey is uh, here robert burns just described the good qualities which were present in uh, scot 
Scottish life. He failed to uh, depict the reality of Scottish society, which seemed uh, very insin insincere to Arnold. He compares Burns. Uh, poetry with Chaucer's poetry and says Bo Burns' poetry too lack high seriousness so he cannot be considered as a classic. So according to uh, Matthew Arnold, even Robin, uh, Robert Burns is not a classic because his poetry lacks high seriousness. Then coming to his contemporary poets uh, like Wordsworth, Byron, Shelley, and Keats, Arnold says that it is very difficult for him to judge their works as that would eventually take him on a personal character. He therefore leaves in the hands of the readers to apply touchstone method on the works of his contemporary writers. In this way, Arnold applies touchstone method on various poets and finds out that poets like Shakespeare, Milton, Gray are classic poets, while Chaucer, Dryden, Pope, and Burns are not classic poets. So that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.